What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're doing a, a mini of a showcase here for the brand new Legend Zora which I was luckily enough able to pull on part one of the Sugo Fest. You know it wasn't as bad as the Sanji banner, definitely wasn't as good as the Luffy Yamato banner but we did end up getting him and I'm very excited to talk about this guy today. Now I know a lot of people are excited for him because not only visually he looks amazing but his abilities that he has is pretty strong too and we're going to discuss that in this video today. So let's Let's just jump into it with talking about his captain ability. So remember, his captain ability essentially has three different levels. What you're seeing on screen is just the base level captain ability. And, you know, you get a lot of cooldown reduction, which is, you know, what we've seen with the Straw Hat based legends during the anniversary. A lot of cooldown, especially if you're running like Double Zor or Sanji Zor or a Luffy Yamato Zor. If you're running any hybrid scenario of these units, the amount of cooldown you get is pretty absurd. And then he also, this specific Zora will give a uh, boost, an attack boost and an HP boost to Slasher and Free Spirit. So you can run, you know, whatever you want in terms of Slasher and Free Spirit. Most likely you're sticking to Free Spirit because they are the better units overall. Uh, and then of course he has the effect to make tandem slots beneficial. And then if he himself has a recovery or a tandem slot when you attack super effectively, then you get a Wano slot. Now that's interesting because when you move on to his level 2 captain ability, his level 2 captain ability is a lot better and you can activate it whenever you want. And when you activate the level 2 ability, if you have any recovery slots on your crew, they're immediately changed to Wano. So that's a strategy that you can use in order to generate these slots quicker. Where if you have a recovery slot on your team, just switch over to the other Zora and you can either keep it by attacking super effectively or you can just use it on your crew and you can go ahead and switch back to the base version. Because remember, when you're in the level 2 captain ability, you will lose 15% HP at the start of every single turn. And that can stack up very quickly. And, and you know, more often than not, you're probably not going to run double Zora for content. You're probably, even if you are, you wouldn't activate both of these Zora captain abilities immediately because they do the same thing. You only want one effect of these Zoras to generate these slots. But of course, on your burst turn, you want to be activating both of these Zoras to do as much damage as you possibly can. And uh, when you are in the level 2 captain ability, you get a slightly higher attack boost, which is obviously good. But if you're able to get that level 3 captain ability, which is when you, your gauge reaches the maximum potential. You get a 5.75 times attack boost, and then anytime you hit super effectively, obviously you get the Wano slots, of course. He makes the recovery into Wano. Zor becomes super effective against all types, and that is going to be incredible moving forward. But once again, you need to make sure you can actually like get the effect of generating his gauge to max potential, which is not very easy to do. And of course, if you tap on him with a tandem or a Wano slot, uh, when you're in the level 3 captain ability, you also inflict incredible increased damage taken to the opponent, uh, which of course it goes hand in hand with his special. Zora's special ability does a really good amount of damage to the opponent, which of course you can have damage dealing special focused support, which is a good thing for this unit. Also 3.25 times attack boost to free spirit and slasher for two turns is nothing to scoff at. Also, providing a 2.25 conditional against enemies that are inflicted with increased damage taken obviously goes perfectly with his captain ability at the level 3 stage, allowing you to inflict it through status effects and, uh, of course, has great synergy with Luffy and Yamato as well. So you can either run it by himself at the level 3 captain, or if you have Luffy and Yamato with their special, especially in their dual form, to inflict increased damage taken that bypasses immunity. And the increased damage taken you get from Luffy Yamato is better than Zoro you get more damage output from the Luffy Yamato version of it but at the same time if you don't want to run Luffy and Yamato on your team you don't have to as long as you're able to secure those Wano slots Zora will be able to be a self-procking 2.25 conditional with a 3.25 times attack boost which is pretty absurd. Zora has an added effect as well, which is kind of interesting, where if he has a Wano slot when you launch his own special, then he will change the multiplier of tandem slots to be 2.5 times, essentially making tandem slots the same power as, as Wano. And this is really cool, actually, because, uh, you know, back in the day, you know, you'd, you'd be running these super boss teams and you want to make sure you can have some Wano slots on your characters to do as much damage as possible, but you also want tandem slots to trigger super tandem abilities. So this is a really nice way to kind of uh, get around that in the fact that you can generate Wano slots, you know, obviously with Zora himself and activating other abilities but also with the fact that this unit can make those tandem slots super strong and then when you launch the special when he has the uh the the Wano slot he changes his own slot into tandem and changes all other characters slots into tandem so you get a full board of tandem it doesn't go through block slots but being able to be essentially an orb generator so long as he has that Wano slot when you uh, use his special 
it has a lot of potential to be super strong. Uh, and, you know, obviously it, it is kind of annoying though because it is a, it is able to change slots and sometimes you're using one or slots to get around enemy interrupts in terms of orb changing. And uh, that could be a little bit of an issue, but realistically, in, in a lot of scenarios, his special ability is going to be very good. You need to get that Wano slot in, on him to get the best out of it, but at least you still get the attack boost and the conditional boost whenever you launch the special, which is the most important thing. And then, of course, this Zora is focused around Wano as well as tandem slots, and he does have his own super tandem. And his super tandem at level 5 is incredible. Being able to provide a 2.5 attack boost to slash a free spirit, as well as increasing your conditional buffs by 0.25. So... In the way that it works is, is that this super tandem by itself already gives you insane damage potential. However, if you're in the scenario where you're using Legend Robin to stack two conditional boosts at the same time, yes, this Zora super tandem becomes super, like, super strong, way better. However, it is technically a weaker version of super tandem Nami's super tandem ability. If you're in the scenario where you are using two conditionals, Nami's conditional or Nami super tandem is better than Zora's. However, in the scenario of you're running, you know, just Zora by himself, it is, it is going to be essentially like the same sort of thing, but the fact that you get the 2.5 times attack boost, uh, that is a really strong super tandem attack boost, equal highest obviously in the game, uh, and then you still get the buff of the conditional, which essentially makes his own conditional 2.5 times as well, so just stacking all of this damage on one unit is going to be super strong, but it does require you to have straw hat characters on the crew, but you can also use Yamato to proc the super tandem, as well as Odin, Hiori, and Dracul Mihawk, so I like that they've added more free spirit based units in Yamato but they've got some really cool slasher units on top of it as well with Odin, Hiori and Mihawk so very very nice additions to his super tandem requirements and finally another really cool component of Zora is his support effect which attaches to Usopp and Frankie cuts your crew's health by 20% at the start of the final battle as well as giving the supported unit minus one cooldown and a Wano slot so this is cool because I don't remember if Frankie or Usopp had their own um, like a cooldown reduction support but being able to do a self health cut with the support is also very valuable being able to get around the stun debuff which isn't very common but being able to get around it nonetheless is very good so overall Zora is a, is a really solid unit I don't know how much he's going to see play after the anniversary celebrations but he is a lot of fun to use once you get that that Wano gauge to max and you're able to switch between his different captain abilities he, he's a lot of fun to use that is, is that is for sure and he works so so well with Luffy Yamato as well as the Sanji character Sanji specifically is really nice being able to use his special switch him to the captain get the access to super free spirit class and then switch him back down to a crewmate of course then you have these recovery slots you can switch Zoro to level 2 or level 3 captain ability to generate those recovery slots to become Wano slots instead then you can use the Zoro special to change the, the Wano slot on himself into tandem so you're able to trigger his super tandem so there's lots of really cool things going on with Zoro and of course when you do get that, those slots on him with the level 3 captain ability you can then go ahead and inflict increased damage taken to activate his conditional buff special this guy's a lot of fun to use and I'm really looking forward to seeing how people in the community are going to using him moving forward. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today and if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.